I have no idea how to navigate this place now. Which is... I, th I feel like that's a good thing, because um, that means I have to actually... Explore. Also, these are just... So, like, satellite radar dishes. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, I know what I'm talking about. Not satellites. That's a completely different thing. Also, don't think this is leading anywhere, but it's here. There's a research station down there. I guess I can just drop down. I don't know if I want to just drop down. I kind of don't really want to drop just drop down. Just have to walk a lot. If I could, if I could walk faster, this would be all, all right. I, I really don't like hating on this because it looks- it, I absolutely love this place. But I, I just have to complain about a few things that are kind of ruining my experience of this area. But I'll, I'll continue to praise this place, so... The music's very epic as well. I guess the only reason I'm really complaining is I'm running out of things to say. Just walking around, so... And I don't particularly want to just cut random parts of the video. I don't know if we're gonna find any Pokemon we haven't caught before yet. And I don't, don't, don't know if I'm gonna be just checking every Pokemon. Or not. There's a lot of area here to just walk through. But at least having it be just this at this speed means I can just take my time and explore everything, I guess. Most likely to just miss things. I'm pretty sure I have a Raichu, right? No, I don't. Let me catch a Raichu. Normally you're just using a uh, a Thunderstone to evolve a Pikachu into a Raichu, but we can just catch a Raichu here, so. Also, this battle theme is cool. This is the first battle we've been in since we reached the Area Zero. So that's really cool music. I, I like that. I wish you could have, like, you could set what music plays in fights. Like, same, same with, like, Splatoon. I wish I could, like, set the music and stuff. Just set up a playlist or something. Or just pick a song. I feel like it'd be nice to just do something like that on your on the, the enemy's turn while they're doing stuff. So it feels like you're not just locked into waiting quite as much. Was walking through the waterfall is very slow. I mean, or is it just the water being deep? It might just be the water being deep. I don't know how I'm so short compared to everyone else, but it's fine. Can I please move again? There we go. It's fine. I think we're probably getting close to that, um, research station, though. Which is good. I'm pretty sure I have one of these, right? Yeah. Just making sure. We're getting a fair bit of XP from just fighting these, so I'm gonna keep doing that. If I can. Just be absolutely ready for what's to come. So, Penny, how did you wind up being friends with Jeremy? Well, huh, I guess they really came through. Like, oh, school was a mess. My friends... Jeremy, can help me? Why is it so quick? Ah! I'm just gonna let it be. I'm not gonna read it out loud. I'm just gonna point out that it's there. It's a lot easier to keep up with now that I'm not reading it. Seems like a good club. <laughs> They're all, like, arguing over who's got the most friendship with me. Which, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, how, I don't know how Def is going to figure it out if I don't know. So, the research station is right there, so let's see if we can get to that. Also, I'm a little bit upset at the map being the map. You know what I mean? Oh, it's just, I don't like picking apart this, but I have to, because it could be 
just a little bit better. Even if the map wasn't there, it'd be better than this, so... Let's take a look at this place. See what we can do. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish ra rations? Research stations. Hmm, well, I was close. Wow, you have such great memory, pen 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 Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Shots fired. Shreen! Yo, what the heck is that? That's a Pokemon La Premier uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Jeremy, let's take it on together. Can, do I get to catch it? And that's all I want to know is, can I catch it? I don't want to fight it, I don't want to defeat it. I want to catch it. Music is so good. No, I can't. I can't. Pokeball? Why do you do this to me, game? <laughs> well, uh, I don't think Earthquake is going to work, but I can Muddy Water. Probably. <laughs> Sorry. What did you just do to me? Wait, why? Why? What? The whole double battle fight so that you can win immediately without me even going f <sighs> ah, I see I see the point of that fight was uh, intended to be epic or something are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here you think I don't know they don't seem very strong since you can take them out immediately you think that was something please You've got no idea how terrifying Era Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much. This group of people should not be a group of people. <laughs> Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Oh, hey, it's a door. I've never seen a door before. It's crazy. Hey, there's a thing on the ground. Did I grab it? I think I did. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you've re uh, reached the, your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago. Wow, it looks pretty good for 87 years ago. <laughs> As a way station for those start, uh, surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> looks like we can get you can use this place to rest up if we need to. Jeremy, if you would be so kind to disable the first lock using the on the lab using that central panel. Okay do that then. You heard the professor, better press it. Lock disabled. Three or four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue at your efforts at the remaining research stations. Oh, a shiny stone. That's what I got on the ground. What does a shiny stone do? I don't think I've ever seen a shiny stone. Maybe I have. No, I have. It's fine. Well, hang on. Isn't that the thing on the ground? Hang on. I should probably check what I can actually do in here before leaving. Have these bunch of characters follow me around. Where would you like to go? That's a teleport to different places. But we haven't unlocked more of those yet, so... I down for a rest. Yes, I would. We feel healthy again. 
We weren't healthy before, obviously. Whoa. Why am I stuck? There we go. I almost never saw my mom. Oh, okay, never mind. It's there, you know, if you want to read it. I wonder if it's because I have text speed higher up that's just automatically going to the next thing quickly. Okay. Well, so we can't send out a Pokemon while well, they're talking, apparently. Let me just quickly change the settings to slow text speed. Let's see what that does. Because normally it's helpful to just have that go by in text boxes that you can actually... It waits for you to press A on before moving on. So you're not just sitting there waiting for the text to appear. But I think that might actually be affecting the automatic text, which is going by way too quickly. Which I feel like that's a bad design for on-screen text that goes way qu quickly, is having it be affected by the text speed like that. I don't know which direction I should go in right now. Seems to be a lot of paths I can take. Also, whoa, what are you? I don't know, but I... Took you out already, so that's fine. Gave me snom thread though, so I'm not that concerned. Well, hello. Getting into random fights again. It feels like the you're supposed to get into more wild fights. Than I have been. But that one would just take so much longer to walk around. I don't know. Feels like it's missing something. Last time I came to Great Crater, I was trying to see my mum. I got about this fit. No, it's really going by quickly, isn't it? Yeah. So I guess I was wrong about that. It's just very fast for some reason. I don't think they expect you to read it out loud. Which is weird. So, whoa, hello cave. I was not expecting to see anything like this here. Earthquake. Nice. I'm assuming that all the paths lead to the same places, so I don't have to worry about exploring too much. But if I reach a dead end, then I'll just go back and I'll figure out which ways I haven't gone yet. I think I should be fine. Now, have I caught you is the other thing I wanted to know. Yes, I have. Okay, cool. It feels kind of nice just walking around in silence, though. As uneventful as it is. It almost needs to be a bit more like, um... A Team Star raid. <laughs> Just to make it a bit more interesting. Also, what is over this way? Secrets? Secrets. That area looks really cool. A lot of this place looks really cool. Send you out and fight all those. Flame charge. Why aren't you fighting them? Cool. My Pokemon froze in terror. Please don't fight me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you, what? Arvin's reached his final form. Oh, here he goes. His instant transmission away. He reached his final form. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. 
Yeah, cool. I don't even know how to feel about anything anymore now that I've seen that. So what is with this? Is that a path I was supposed to take or something? I don't know. Oh, hey, we've reached another research station. I'd like to say that it was a quick journey between the two, but it doesn't really feel like it was quick. The second research station. About time to. Phew. Let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Heh. <laughs> Who? I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Oh, look at him! Hey look, a jiggly Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here. Why does it have a tail <laughs> as part of its hair? Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm expecting its eyes to just like turn red. <laughs> like obviously it's gonna fight us. What the? Wah! Jeremy, it's battle time. Okay, do I get to exist in the fight? Do I get to join in too? I can. I'm just gonna mash buttons because I'm expecting to not even have my chance in the, the, the light. Big doll eyes. Well, I guess that's something, but also I'm using Earthquake, which is gonna hit your Pokemon as well. So I don't really mind that much. <laughs> oh hey, that didn't do as much as I would have hoped. That's fine. I wasn't expecting to get my attack in, so. Which is fair it's a fair assumption after the blast battle I had. No, it's resting. It's resting. And I can't catch this Pokemon, sadly, so... Since this is another one of these built-in fights... Hang on. Don't I have a move that has like a 30% chance of just destroying it? Screamtail, that's what this is called. Interesting. Nice, nice. One hit KO. That was very lucky. But it was going to make the fight significantly faster than it would be otherwise. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get, get inside already. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Was it really that bad? It didn't- its eyes didn't turn red. If its eyes turned red, and like, shadows of darkness loomed about it, then it would be scary. then it would be scary. Don't make fun of the way it looks, like that. Well, this- this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think that may, uh, maybe po that, that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to ca catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team se uh, suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photography by chance. 
and notice a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and, and the shape of its back set it apart. As do its great tusks. Monsters are very zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I, I d don't really know. What do you think, Jeremy? I don't think they're regular Pokemon. Hmm, maybe they def they definitely look do look different at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokédex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor, some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokémon that lived in a dis in a distant past, long lost to us. Ancient Pokémon. What? That's awesome! Oh, come on, there's, there's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. Now you spring that onto us? It summons the ancient Pokémon to this place. So the thing my mum spent forever researching down here... She actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a time... For a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mum, you... Why did you call us here to Era Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Jeremy. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. There we go. Two down, two to go. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Jeremy. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. You obtained the Scarlet Book. Take care of it for me. Okay, Jeremy? Okay. Let's rest up. Now I believe we can get around the Area Zero now using the portal pad on the ground. Let's keep moving. Try to find the next spot. It can't be. It just can't. But then who? I can't believe I got get to battle the po uh, Pokemon from a whole different era. This is incredible. I'm so glad I came here with you. Seriously, a time machine? Feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something. Keep going. Have to go deeper. And all around the place by the looks of it. Quite possibly. What are your parents like, Mona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even if I know about your dad, he's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous, and I guess I looked into him for one of my own reasons, too. So Namona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family. Ah, no, no way. That's so not my thing. Though, yeah, I guess you could say my mother and father were, like, hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will 
probably be take over the business. That's so they pretty much let her let let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff. Penny, what is your family super normal then? My my family is unbelievably annoying. Like super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world. Period. He's the worst. Them, that's a real downer for your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Oh, uh, Jeremy, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her. Really? I wish I could have... Could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Cool, the text just gets completely ignored when I pick up an item I haven't seen before. But it's fine. There's the next research station. That was quick. It's probably a good thing that it was this quick. I think if you're just confident and just keep walking forward, you just get to each research research station. Quite quickly. This place is still really cool. Alright, another research station. Nice. We get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna pop, uh, jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Huh, oh Penny. Such a worry what? Huh? Boy, it's a great tusk. See? See? See. Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin. It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Jeremy and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. I should really change my lead Pokemon at some point, but this is probably fine. Especially if I can get the, the lucky shot. Intimidate. Great tusks. Some stuff went down. Attack went down. Let's use Fissure. Oh, how? It worked. No, it didn't. It avoided the attack. Play rough is going pretty well, though. For Arvin. Avoid the attack again. Well, this is fine. Stomping Tantrum. It's gonna take one more turn to beat it anyway, so. Gotta try again. Get lucky on the third try. Nope. Avoided the attack. Stomping tantrum. Oh boy. I can't see anything from this angle, but it's fine. Would have thought that it would be easier. Since this is a scripted fight. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came down from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our great cra uh, crater get together. Jealous? Uh, if we got if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldia, that's a major problem. Is the Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this 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 happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like an oh-so-brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Jeremy, let's get into that research station. Eh? 
And made it to another station, made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling r rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that that's that that it's also one of the those ancient Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I wasn't saying no, but I just I don't know. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. It's even its name sounds pasty. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey Arvin, you had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice, then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Coridon, that is, it was formed by, found by, found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor, Coradon, which I entrusted to Jeremy, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Though, analysis of its gene genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in the fact an ancient form of Silazar the Pokemon is still commonly f ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other could one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with Arkwrighton. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly, imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get them back together. Get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If you could proceed, Jeremy. Please disable the next lock using the central panel there. One of four locks are still is still active. Well done. On, only one remains now. Please continue to, on to the final research station. It's getting very interesting now. <laughs> it's very interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm very interested. These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. You can leave any wild Pokemon up to me. I'll have them beat in no time, so we can march on. If that other Pokemon really is the only family it has left in the world, you must want to be together again, right? I guess we're going down to the cave. So Crichton's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Jeremy, you've got to let me battle Crichton right now. <laughs> um, I, th I still don't th think it... It still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I've heard of it coming... Coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mum brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a while, little while. My mum made me promise to keep it a secret, and had me take care of it for her too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Karadon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. I guess I'm not seeing the rest of that text since I walked too much. Ah, 
At least warn me before I'm walking into a cutscene. There's last lab. And something down there as well. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down there. Or down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place, place is like something from a whole other world. It makes you feel like maybe you you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as the as when Pokemon Trust lies? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on everybody, let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. 